no. Go, 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 this. Mackerel roe cheese. <laughs> I made this uh, during the beginning of quarantine. I called it Table Town. And I made a little strip mall on one side. Little house and theater and stuff on the other side. I figured I could take Table Town and put it on the outside of the table and just decorate the whole thing like a little haunted village of some sort. Something for my son to walk around and, you know, trick or treat around, around the table. Still doesn't really care much about Halloween, so try to make it fun in some way. He can reach in and get some chocolate. Yeah, hey. Nine, ten. Yeah, hey. Nine, ten. Yeah, hey. I'll cut to that. I think I'm more likely to move things around after the fact because of Abby than because of Donna. Stuck it in the corner of the table. Ha ha cute. Abby was eating it, so I can't do that. So I'm just gonna flip it. I was gonna decorate each chair too like with a, a costume or something. I don't really know if this is gonna work. Perfect. Now I gotta go to the garage and get some stuff. So I don't, I don't put my son on camera on YouTube. So if it ends up being a little choppy here and there, that's why. So let's see what happens. Okay, this is the next day. <laughs> but here we go. I'm gonna bring in a bunch. I'm gonna bring a bunch of decorations in. I don't know if I have anything that really works for this. One. But I do have. I put you in the stick. I put you outside last year. Um, I have this, but I'm not really a four-year-old Halloween thing. So, I do have all of these? I thought these were all in a bag. I try to save them. I turn this on. It should still work. That still works. These are from Dollar Tree. They still work. I mean, it's a battery, but like another skull. This one is. That one's more like foam. This one's more like plastic. This is my cheap little door knocker. Lights. Some orange LED lights. Um, and this guy. Oh, okay. It's got a weird little edge. I, an extra for a party back in the day. We tried making, making these horns work somehow because they were just so awkward. Like I kind of like knocked off a couple of the spikes to try to. So here are the LEDs. Little. I need washing. I'll just do a fun little setup on top of this table. I'll do like, yeah. I have a costume for one of the chairs. Got some bloody scrubs. That I wore one year. For our. The year we um we had a zombie theme. A hack, by the way, for anyone who's trying to do a zombie costume. If you don't want to paint your skin so much, um, what I did was I used a pair of pantyhose. I, I made it so that they were sleeves. I sprayed them with, you know, blood and I put runs in them and everything so they'd have a weird texture to them. And then I put them on over my arms so my arms looked a little messed up. This, these are actually the, the pantyhose arms that I did. This is the rug that goes with the bloody shower curtain. There's another rat. Uh, no light in this. It's just like that. Thing. Oh, the year I was Lady Gaga. These are literally stones in front of your eyes. You have to be like, oh, no, I can see you. Don't worry, I can see you. I can see you now. I can't see it now. I can see you. These look so fake, but you know. I was really prepared that year. This is a terrible wig. Not great. Also, these pants. I mean, you know. You know when you're getting stuff like this. Costume pants. They're not going to be great. You kind of hope that they, they'll stay up. You know the leggings that the crotch just slips. No matter what you do, it constantly slips. You're constantly pulling it up and you're just like, Oh my God, these are the most annoying leggings ever. Yes. So that's it in this container. I must have gotten rid of some of it last year, like quickly. But then again, I think it was just. 
Can I do anything with this material? That's the question, because they're not going to be worn as leggings again. Um, I would put this on over this because it might look nice if it goes to here, but I don't know that that's what it's going to do. And I could measure it and be cool, but something like maybe I could wrap somebody's present in it or something. Maybe I can put these things away in it, you know, like use it as cushion. Like, what's in here? Oh, so these little doodads. Spirit of children. Spirit of children. Is this supposed to be a children's bracelet? What is this? Oh, see, these are for the lanterns. Get our little poison coasters. Same. Let's put those right in there. <laughs> Thirsty. Oh, team. Little fake spiders. Actually, the rings, I'm going to just put them around if I stack them on here. Because I don't know what else to do with them. There we go. We got spiders crawling up the... Put them all on. I saw it quickly and I thought it was real. I was like, why would, why would, why, who would put the... It's fake. It's a fake razor. It's just a piece of nothing. <laughs> These are the original horns my husband got and they just... They're too heavy, and he didn't want to put the spirit gum and all that stuff. They're just... Well, that might look very nice, actually. Can't imagine. <laughs> I'm sweet and innocent. I really don't understand... Why people look at me like, like I'm evil or something. <gasps> I'm not evil. Oh, I kept these. This was one of our Halloween parties. Graham cracker bandages with cream cheese and jelly. Just take a graham cracker and it looks like a bandage. You put a little cream cheese, a little jelly, it looks like a gross bandage. That's it. That's all it was. <laughs> Candy corn cheesecake mousse. We had this little pizza saver where it was like, it was the shape of a pizza slice. That's what I put it in. So that's why it looked like candy corn and yeah. <laughs> Green eyed monster eyeballs. Those were devil day. Pumpkin cheesecake, I make that all the time. With chocolate crust, though, I was trying to make it look a little Halloween-ish. Balls. <laughs> um, for most of our par parties, what we do is we buy uh, a nice bag of Italian-style meatballs, and we buy some nice sauce, dump them in a crock pot, and... There was one year that I made um, a Jello Jello brain, and I had put a little bit of schnapps in there, peach schnapps. And um, most people did not want to touch it because it just looked like a brain. Just the, just the idea. Here's a mold. I don't have as much stuff as I thought I did when it comes to like really doing this. Oh. Little sun faded. <laughs> I'm going to do with that yet. That's, that's not staying there very long. It's going to fall eventually. Severed parts. Little foam pumpkin that I carved because why not? All right. I have these. I have three of these. And I have a couple of these. Only two? Well, you know, there's only one of them that's a little bit different, but the rest of them are this orange one. So, all right. So it's going to be cute. I think it's going to be cute. This was something from my family's house. Everybody kind of abandoned it, so I was Harley Quinn. And um, I made my own hammer, even though I probably very easily could have purchased one that would have looked better than this uh, and wouldn't have started falling apart the way this one does. But hey, at least it's got give. At least it's got give. I'm not, not hurting anybody. I tried. I don't think I have the top anymore because what I did was I took an existing bra of mine and I just covered it in duct tape and I needed my bra so I took that off. Did make a tutu which is doing something very interesting. This is a costume for another chair. Dressing chairs up. Who dresses chairs up? Apparently I do. I wasn't going for any a specific Harley Quinn. I was going for more like the idea. So if anyone's just like, what costume is that supposed to be? Just a mixture. 
this corset. Um, there are my Harley Quinn boots. They were just some existing boots I had that were falling apart. I cut a slit down the front and duct taped the crap out of them. There you go. <laughs> Needed a choker. Cut a belt I wasn't using. <gasps> I have had this forever. It's a wind up pin. I love him. It's not much. I feel like there's a couple more things outside, but it's not anything scary. It's more like autumn than anything else. And so when Donovan is trick or treating, I walk around here and reach in, get something from the bowl. That's my idea. I also have this thing. It's orange. It works. So we're not doing something very different. We realize, you know what? This might make more sense. I don't think I have enough safety pin for something like this, though. So I might need to hold off on that part of it. It's kind of annoying that I have to split this up, but I might have to split this up. I think what I'm going to have to do in the meantime is I'm going to have to get pins for this. I'm going to figure something out. So I'm going to pause. Uh, so this video is a little all over the place and I got to figure out how to finish the Halloween thing. But until then, I wanted to post this. I guess this is part one. I plan on putting these things like that. And I plan on putting this across the top of the strip mall and um, little trick-or-treat sign just it's simple stuff so I can't really go I was kind of hoping I had more things to like I might make some stuff so I'm thinking that might warrant a different video because there's only so far I can go right now so I think that's gonna be the end of this video um, have a good night everybody Bye.